Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Guys, for those who don't know, there is a brand new game called Hyperfront that is a 5v5 FPS that uses heroes and has abilities. I actually played this for quite a while yesterday and it's still in beta, but today's video will give you guys some tips and tricks on shooting as well as take a little overall rundown on the weapon. Shout out to Hyperfront for sponsoring this video. Really much appreciated. This game looks absolutely fun and if you guys do want to download, there's going to be a link in the description down below for that. All right, so we hopped in into the training room. This is going to be the best way to showcase guns as well as the shooting mechanics. I think this is a very nice feature in the game. But before we continue on with anything, we're going to go ahead and go to the settings because settings is very important. So for firearm settings, we decided to go for auto ADS. You can actually do the hip fire as well. That basically means that when you hit the ADS button or the shoot button, you can actually ADS and shoot at the same time. But for me personally speaking, I don't use it. I'll actually show you guys the button. Next, we go ahead and go to custom layout. You can actually have the HUD that you would like. It has a base HUD, a different HUD, and then the three finger claw one which is the one that i am currently using however i actually adjusted a few things here and there as you can see you can see on the bottom right here this is the um, shoot the ads where you can have kind of aim and shoot at the same time i personally don't like using that as much i much rather ads and aim with the ads button you can see that on the right side so that's what i decided to go with and then that is uh, the HUD I can use, but you can honestly change whatever HUD you would like. And then you have the movement that you guys can change. But um, I think this is typically the fine one where you move with the left and aim with the right. And you kind of shoot the top right. But that's just how I use it. Three finger claw is pretty comfortable for me. So that's going to be pretty easy for you guys. Also, there is a gyroscope. So if you guys do want to use a gyroscope, so basically when you move the phone, it moves the screen as well. I have never used gyroscope in other games, so I personally am not going to use it. But if you're, if you're used to using gyroscope, you might want to consider using it. It could help with the recoil, but uh, honestly, it's really up to you. I personally don't use it just because I'm not that type of player. All right, so for sensitivity, you can basically actually choose three types of sensitivity and they'll predetermine it for you. So you have low, medium, and high. However, you can actually just adjust them how you like. And typically, it does come with time acceleration. So I basically, believe time acceleration is how fast you swipe it the faster it goes and then there's distant acceleration which i personally like a little bit more which is basically based on the distance you are from the target the acceleration is different and there's the fixed acceleration which i usually typically use in other games however in this one there isn't any like sensitivity you can change specifically for the fixed sensitivity or even any of these other sensitivities and um, i think that's very important because the non-ads is very important in this game you're going to be hip firing quite a bit so if you raise that too high you won't be able to aim as well so basically i'm going to keep it at distant acceleration acceleration is the one that I use. But take a look at the sensitivity. I do have my ADS sensitivity uh, quite a bit lower than my non-ADS and the non-ADS is actually a little bit higher than I would like. I think 140 is typically what I have. I think I may have accidentally um, reduced, uh, increased it, but it really up to you and then you also have the shooting sensitivity so when you're shooting your sensitivity might be higher or lower depending on uh, your own uh, way but typically speaking you want to have your non ads as well as your regular shooting sensitivity whatever sensitivity about the same so you just don't want it to be too inconsistent so when you're, sh you're flipping and you're flipping back down it's going to change the sensitivities when you're you know you're shooting around so you want to get used to it then afterwards you have the gyro so if you do use gyro you can actually adjust your sensitivity so some players like to have a little bit of gyro some people like to have more but i'm not a gyro player so i'm not the best person to give you guys information on that now this is probably the most important part in the setting it is going to be the crosshair the crosshair is all based on what you like to do i personally like to have a small dot as you guys can see but the cool thing about this is you can customize it so you guys can see there's like a different set amount that you can actually use there's a classic one the the dynamic simplistic one the static simplistic one you know all the other ones but the one that i personally use is the customized one which is typically just going to be a dot i may have accidentally reset it but the cool thing about this you can customize it almost like to a, a T, like for example, inner crosshair. If you want to adjust the inside, you can actually change it to make it bigger, more, whatever you like. I usually just turn them all off. And that's just personally speaking, I like having them all off. I'm just gonna turn them off here and I'm gonna turn this one off as well. So you guys will see, I will just have a dot, but you can adjust however you like based on your personal preference. I actually typically like to add this a little bit more. We make this usually a little bit bigger and then you can just get a little more clarity. And I, I, I think the color that I like was this yellow kind of vibe. Just there's not much yellow in the game, but really this green is good too. But honestly, like it's up to you, whatever color you find that you want to use. But uh, honestly, that's what I like. The one dot just because, you know, it's just what I'm comfortable with. However, keep in mind that there is going to be, for example, 
the uh, inner crosshair and outer crosshair. Those are going to be really important because it does showcase more or less the bloom. So in this situation, let's just put the classic one. So those who are interested to see how the bloom works. All right. So now that we have a crosshair set up, let's go ahead and take a look at the guns. As you guys can see, there's different guns and each guns have their own price. This is a currency based system. So whenever you kill people and you win rounds, you actually get currency and you can buy different guns. There's a multiple types of guns. There is pistols, shotgun, SMG, rifle, sniper rifle, and there's going to be machine gun. And each of these has their own advantage and disadvantages. So most typically speaking, you're not going to use pistols except for the first two rounds. And sometimes when you save, you might want to use a pistol. But generally speaking, you can fairly afford these SMGs. You gain money quite fast in this game. So I haven't found myself needing pistols over the first two rounds, but there is multiple types of pistol. There is the regular base pistol that you come with. There's a saw off, which is a shotgun, the C2795, which is a mini SMG pistol. I'm pretty sure I read that wrong is CZ75 and then USP which is a science gun and we have the heavy pistol which is a one shot to the head so typically speaking I like using the USP and getting armor in the beginning but it's all your personal preferences this is a very good fast tap firing gun we have shotguns we have Shotguns are always good close range. SMGs, same thing. Close range is good. Uh, a little more forgiving than shotguns. You can potentially get more people, but not very the best when it comes to long range. And then we got rifles. Very good at long range. Decent close range. But basically speaking, you want to do a lot of damage at long range with great rate of fire. Sniper rifles is a very good long range. Not so good close range. And it really depends. A very high skill gap. If you're good with snipers, you can hit that. And a machine guns is one of those guns that are very, very good to use. Like you can spray pretty easily without having too much bloom in the beginning. Uh, especially when you're hip firing but the damage is lower than like the ARs you're not gonna have much one tap potential to the head so those are the typical gun quick run through to the gun personally speaking my favorite gun I like using is the rifles I personally love using the scar or the AK or even the M4 is all personal choices the AK right here has a one tap to the head up to 50 meters and then the scar also has one tap but I believe it's only up to 30 meters and the M4 also has that one tap but only 15 meters but the recoil is going to be a lot less, which I can kind of show you guys. So we're going to talk about the recoil and more or less that pattern. So as you guys can see, we do have our crosshair and we have our dot. So the dot is where typically the bullet will go. But as the crosshair gets bigger, that's called the bloom. That's where the bullet will actually go, especially when you hip fire. So hip fire, there is a couple ways that you can actually hip fire. If you want to move and hip fire, then you can do so. But I don't recommend it. As you guys can see, the bloom is absolutely massive. Look, look how crazy the spread goes. I do not recommend it so what I do recommend however is just standing still and shoot because look 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 at that spread now watch this if you stand still and spread it just goes straight obviously you can notice one thing you can see the dot the bullet does not go where the dot is as you spray more and more so there's a few ways you can kind of reduce that the first way is going to be crouching once you crouch you can tell the bullet will not go as high look Look how crazy that is. The, the spread is a little bit higher. So that is kind of a tip that you can use if you want to shoot. You can't crouch walk, but it's super slow. But you, if you see someone, you can just crouch and shoot. If you're skilled enough, that's going to take a little bit of time to do. But keep in mind, this double-edged sword, because potentially speaking, some people might be shooting at the chest. And if you crouch, you might get headshot. So really, what you want to do is maybe practice to shoot and then crouch and then crouch back up. But that's going to take a lot of time to practice. So what I recommend is just uh, straight up, just shoot a few times with the gun you know try to hit those three taps and stuff like that now another way to do it is going to be to ads now there is a downside to ads the main downside is going to be first of all it takes a little bit of time to ads but the main downside is that it shoots less or i want to say the fire rate is slower so yes as you guys can see look you can see the spread is super low and it basically goes where your crosshair is so if you want to be super accurate at long range you ads but you will tell, look, look how fast you shoot now and look when you ADS. So you can definitely tell there's a difference in speed when it comes to shooting, which makes sense because you're like kind of aiming in to try to shoot. So different guns will have different recoil patterns and different blooms like snipers. Obviously their bloom is not that effective because it is a sniper unless you take the semi-automatic one. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at, for example, the main one that's a little different is the machine gun. Machine guns bloom is going to be very manageable. So you can tell right here, look, it's a machine gun, right? So the first few shot does not have much bloom. So it's very much, very, very controllable. So if you see people, you want to kind of wall bang and you want to keep spraying to hit multiple people, probably your best bet. 
this does have a slight problem where it does shoot fairly slow and that's kind of speed up the ads actually doesn't make it as much better because the recoil is kind of hectic as you can tell the heck the recoil goes almost straight up and this is like a very uh, horizontal recoil uh, i guess it could be for another video where we talk about which gun is the best but you can see like snipers is going to be good if you really get sniping typically speaking you want to go with a rifle i personally like using the ak because a one shot potential to the head and then the early rounds getting a shotgun or a smg is not bad but typically speaking my favorite guns are going to be the qpz usually getting down to fourth round and then afterwards if i can afford it i will go to the ak with the armor uh, i love this game because you don't have to purchase too much abilities you only have one ability to purchase which is fairly affordable and you get the armor which is full armor 20 uh, 50 and the half armor is 25 you can potentially use uh, any of these uh, pistols but honestly it really depends on you i personally think that the best guns are going to be any of these three and personally speaking i like the scar or the ak and uh, that's going to take some time to practice but ultimately that's the best way you can shoot is just to try to get the hip fires or if they're a little bit further you can kind of ads so let's we'll see if i can show you guys someone who's kind of far and kind of ads there okay I, actually i think if i climb all the way up here we should get some decent distance and be able to shoot some decent people here at range so obviously right here okay so they're, they're not super far but still so if you hit fire and you get a headshot you can always get these nice kills right right obviously this will take a lot of skills take practice to get these headshots but you know if you aim for the head and you just want to spray this is your way to do it right because the recoil and the ball of uh, the bullets will go exactly where you're aiming so if you if you like spraying more you definitely you definitely are going to want to ads see definitely going to want to ads because the bullets will aim exactly where you're going and uh, there we go very very easy way to shoot anyway hopefully this helped you guys out if you did like share and subscribe um, honestly i am not the best phone player but when it comes to shooting and this game i felt like that was the best way to shoot and the mechanic wise it felt really nice and if you guys do want i might even do a gun tier list for this it could be a fun one to do because i played this and i've used most of the guns and i feel like i have a feel of which gun is the best but again guns can be based on your play style the sniper if you're a good sniper you can use any snipes and again those quick scopes are very satisfying anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye